Hi there, everybody. My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And if you're new to power tools or the tool industry, or you just became a contractor, you're not quite a journeyman, or you're a greenhorn, or you're a homeowner, DIYer, you might not know if you're just getting started, is what I'm getting at, that Cobalt, the Cobalt line of tools, has an occult following. I mean, literally, they have pages on social media specifically for COBOL tools and the owners of COBOL tools. It is a tight-knit community of peoples that get together to talk about how much they love their COBOL tools. And that's for good reason, because in my opinion, COBOL tools punches way above its price point. They are competitive in many, many arenas, especially the pricing arena, and the performance arena. It's like the rise of the tiger. Or is that not how the song goes? Year of the tiger, time to get up and cheer. And what we have today is their new brushless line of tools, impact driver. And why did we bring it in? Because we brought in their hammer drill. We love it. It's compact, powerful, it's lightweight. It's actually not that lightweight. I will say that the one of the big differences between Cobalt and other homeowner DIY wire, wire line of toolers. Me feel English? Is that they're very compact, yes, but when it comes to the weight, it's deceiving because they use really great materials that put some heft. You feel like what you're grabbing here in your hand is very substantial. Whereas if it was maybe a different line of tools, it might feel like, I don't know, it might feel like trash. It might not feel as sub substantial. This feels good. You asked us to get this in, we did it, okay? That, I guess that's what I'm getting at. You asked us to get in the impact driver. And what we do around here is, we do what you ask. So, if, if you're, this is your first time here, and you're thinking to yourself, man, this guy really is handsome. I like the way he talks. And I like a lot of what he says, okay? But I'm not quite convinced just yet if I should get subscribed, okay? You should, because we make the videos that you wanna see. I write the songs that the whole world sings. Let's get to it. What we have today is Cobalt 24 volt max brushless quarter inch impact driver kit. You know what's great about Cobalt is that they give you a full five-year limited tool guarantee and a three-year limited battery guarantee. That is right up there with contractor grade tools. You gotta love it. What's great about this impact driver is it's giving you up to 2,000 inch pounds of torque and 3,800 impacts per minute. This is the thing, we wanna see how those impacts work alongside with the RPM. It's another important number. You might think that you have all the information you need by just looking at those two numbers. Sometimes you might not be able to look at both numbers at the same time. You might have to look at them separately and then you're not gonna have the full picture. What you need to do is see how they work when they work together once the battery's on the tool. That's what you're gonna to wanna to do. Now, in this kit, it's product number 4913880, not only are you getting the impact driver, you're getting everything you need to run that impact driver, and that means you're also getting a two amp hour battery and a charger. Great part about this charger is it's in a full 85 watt charger. They're giving you that soft grip handle for superior comforts, one-handed quick insert collet, it's got a finish mode. The tool automatically stops after fastening. It's got a self tapper mode for high RPM while driving and then an automatic slowdown while threading. It's got three speed settings, zero to 1500, zero to 2400 in speed two and zero to 3100 RPM in speed three. It's got a 24 volt max and that's what this is, 24 volt max. Rating, that is the max rating that the battery pack will put out at rest. It has a nominal voltage though of 
12.6 volts when it's in use. It's nominal voltage rating. Now, some of you will say, well, is that comparable to like a 20 volt tool? And it is not comparable to a 20 volt tool voltage wise because that 20 volt max rating is actually an 18 volt nominal discharge rate. So what I'm getting at is, is that when it comes to batteries, you are getting some extra oomph when it comes to cobalt. It feels really nice in the hand. I like the feeling of it. And once again, you know, it feels substantial, like it's meant for business. We have our two amp hour battery. Now, kind of like an old cooking show back in the day when I was a kid, like it's what we used to watch like on Sunday with the parents. We like maybe watch like Justin Wilson or like, uh, I don't know, name your favorite cooking show. But he always seemed to have, he'd be like, woo wee, I got one's already made up in the oven. And he would like, you know, he'd be putting it all together and then he'd come back, okay? Well, I already have one here in the oven that's fully charged. Here is that 85 watt charger. I gotta tell you, I'm not, I don't know. I feel like this might be fan cooled. Let's take a look. It is compact. So it is not fan cooled. Let's see what this, this this impact can do every every feature, every function. We're gonna start out on speed one with inch and five eighths drywall fasteners. I gotta tell you, I, I like that. A lot of power, even in speed one. Crazy. You have your choice of three speeds or a self-tapping mode and a finish mode. And you can see that finish mode works pretty doggone well. I wonder how it works if you have a larger fastener. Hmm, hmm. I mean, you're not really supposed to be driving three inches of drywall fastener into wood. That's why. Let's see how it works. So, it's meeting so much resistance that it's just shutting it down. It feels like it should be flush. And rightfully so. Definitely not the mode for a three inch drywall screw into three inches of wood. Let's, let's see how speed two works. Wow. Let's see about speed three. Wow, so much powers. Plenty of power. So we're gonna go in self tap mode. Wow, I like that, did you see that? That's great. So what happens is, is that with self tap mode, if it doesn't act instantaneous, slow it down, especially in, you know, thinner gauge metals, you can actually blow out the hole. You rip out the threads you've just created. And then that position, for fastening, it's it, it's done. You can't use it. You'll have to move to a different spot, up, down, left, right. This is really handy, especially for a homeowner and DIYer. It's just fun too, man, just fun. Like it just, I feel like I'm, I'm relieving so much stress by using it. What else can we do? I have an idea. One of the hallmarks of an impact driver, a measure of its metal, of its gumption, of its testing abilities, is its ability to do things like drive larger fasteners. For instance, like this structural lag fastener. And how quickly? Because you might need to drive numerous structural lag fasteners in a day. Every second counts. Even milliseconds matter when it comes to getting paid at the end of the day and getting to the bar. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you don't you wanna? That was effortless. I gotta tell you.
tell you something else. Sometimes when driving an impact driver, you could be met with a tremendous amount of vibration throughout your hands. And over time, you might even actually start to lose the ability to grip your tool. Okay? And you always want to be able to keep a firm grip on your tool to get the most out of the work that you're doing with your tool. Thing is, is that because of this rubber, this rubber grip here, I don't know, and the, and the, and the, the nature of the tool itself, feel, it really feels good in the hand. Let's try another one. And I want you to take notice the ability, because of the tool, it seems very exceptional, the ability to just drive those large fasteners. With one hand, okay? That frees up my left hand. Or if you wanted to do it with, with your left hand, frees up your hand. Maybe you're writing out your invoice, okay? Or you're writing a love letter to a family member, okay? Or, or, or you're making a Christmas list. You, just, you have the flexibility to do something else with your other hand. This thing is engineered really well. But I know what you're thinking. How does it drill holes? Because everybody knows that one of the mainstays of an impact driver is its ability to drill holes. Everybody buys an impact driver to drill holes, do they not? We have a half inch spaddle bit here. You might not believe it because of the amount of speed that it actually went through, but that was a half inch spade bit, self-feeding spade bit. You probably thought it was maybe a quarter of an inch. It's not, it's a full half inch, watch. Do another one, that was so much fun. Wow. Let's pump it all up to one inch. I don't know how it's gonna react, what it will do. Let's find out. Do another one. Things impressive. I gotta admit, I'm really impressed with Cobalt's new brushless line of tools. But it's not necessarily what I think. I wanna know what you think. Leave it down in the comments section below. I want to say a special thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in for a little bit with me today, hanging out, doing this review. But if you haven't gotten enough new tool reviews just yet, check out this next video. You're going to love it.